Hello and welcome. We are finally back at the Lego house in Billund, Denmark. We start off with Batman before we walk into the huge Lego store. Now we're going to start off with the pirate, which is the first time I've seen this in the box because when I actually got here for the first time in 2023, it hadn't even been released yet. Now, if you've not missed it, this was a spontaneous trip to Billund where I went there and back in one day with no luggage or anything. So I couldn't bring anything back, but I will be going there again sooner rather than later with a larger backpack to bring back some of the exclusive sets. If you didn't know, the Lego house do have an exclusive set that they release once a year and the newest set is this pirate now if you have got the new red torso larger minifigure from the lego website it is the same scale as that so i think they will work perfectly side by side and yes you can see there's the concord there and that is it still sold out on the, the lego website so we're gonna have a look at all the amazing displays that this shop has on offer there's huge changes in this shop as well actually because they've moved all where all the tills are they've got something new coming before december as well so i think maybe you might be able to engrave your own brick or you've got to do something lego brick related because they've still got all of the um minifigure bits and pieces where you can do your own personal printing and things but it does look like there is something slightly different there so be interesting to see what's going on with that but they do have the mosaic bit still on display as well so we will have to find out in the next couple of weeks i didn't speak to a member of staff about what that is going to be because they're just too busy but you can see now to the right hand side just basically outside the shop because we are outside the shop at the moment having this amazing hocus pocus that that is where you now come out the shop to buy your bits and pieces which makes sense because obviously at the end of the day the shop does get so so busy it just frees up a huge amount of space now they've got a lot of new models on the outside because they've got batman on the one side because that used to be a ninjago uh, character i do believe and then now they've got a security guard and that used to be something else as well and now they've got the firefighter on the inside which i think that is another new one that wasn't there in february so they've done a lot of rotation around the cars to all these massive models and then as we start to tuck in you can see there's a little bit more information about the house exclusive and there are other exclusives available currently there is also the lego house set still available which is this one just here and a couple of the others are still available as well the billand exclusive set from the airport has now sold out so they do not have an exclusive at that store anymore they have now gone and done so we've got lots to look through with regards to all the harry potter you can see they've got the massive sets as well the difference between this store and the actual lego store at the park the theme park still had the giveaway uh, available i do believe it still had the posters up for that even though they had sold out every everywhere else online so if you wanted to pick up yourself a rather large set and still get a giveaway purchase that could have been the place that you could have got it from but those two sets in front of us are still the other two exclusive sets to here the one that has gone i do believe is the brick molding machine i haven't got the duck yet so maybe i should pick up the duck because i would imagine the duck will be the next one to go but it is nice to see them all and again they just have these amazing displays and when you get a display cabinet like this and you've got all the artwork behind it i think it does look very very fancy it does look a nice looking thing and obviously if you add a little small minifigure in front of it i think it does look really nice for the old captain redbeard and i think for my own theme park display I think that might work quite well as basically right at the entrance of a queue line we just got an oversized character because obviously they have huge lifelike or oversized things around the theme park so I think that could work quite well. That was the Harry Potter castle all put together with the individual bits and pieces. I think they had every single box available for the current Harry Potter's uh, selection all grouped together and then they did the same thing for all of the Marvel stuff. The Ninjago section as well was absolutely massive. Now they do have a good pab wall here so you can pick your own bricks and obviously you can throw them in the cups and this is obviously the place to go to to get your own exclusive minifigure torso that printed up if you wanted to and that's where you go onto the one of i think there's four or maybe eight computer screens available and then you can design your own bits and pieces now star wars if you're a star wars fan every single large ucs set is available basically side by side so it's obviously in normal lego stores i'll just have one or two on display and then the rest will either be at the back or they'll tell you you have to order it online where here you could just pick it straight off the shelf they did have the new um star wars one just in front of us just there for the christmas display which again does look very very smart i think and they've got all the different types of masks heads helmets and then as you come up you've got all of the different vehicles and then we pan back up so the top shelf was all UCS stuff. It was incredible to see just the size of those boxes. And if you think how much money is just on that top shelf alone, let alone all of the ones underneath it, it is a rather large and very, very well stocked shop, this one. In fact, all the short stores and shops in Billund are very, very well stocked. The airport is fantastic. The actual, um, Legoland Park 1 is huge. There's some massive changes with that as well. So there, all those videos are available or will be available within the new playlists. And then obviously where we're at now, it's, it never disappoints. But every single time I come, 
all the bits and pieces are completely different with regards to the layout. They've got different bits and pieces on display. And also they get the new sets in day one, which is always nice. And your VIP card works here. So if you take your VIP card here, you can get your VIP points at the Lego house and you can also use your VIP points at the Lego house, which is always a nice thing to do because I've done that and it worked very, very well. I got some Christmas bits and pieces. The other thing that they do have on display quite a lot is custom builds like this, where they'll just get different people to come in and you get their work on show. And obviously that is a much smaller variation of stuff that is on display in the actual main Lego house. And again, sport for choice with regards to all of these different bits and pieces that you can pick from. They have a good selection of grills, tiles, all sorts of different bits and bobs some of this stuff I hadn't seen for a long long time obviously you then got the Titanic and they have broken that up and put it as an L shape first time I've seen this built and I think this might excite one or two of you I didn't realize actually how much the head stuck out and how deep it is with regards to the fingers as well so I think that does look very very smart I think you might get you might be able to rotate the head about on that that was extremely tempting after seeing it of just how bright and vibrant that is in person it does look very very good now obviously up at the top of the store, they have all of those amazing artwork, I say artwork, Lego displays all around the top. So that wraps around all around the store. And then they do also have the history of the Lego company symbol at the top as well, just as you exit and come into the store. And they've also got a lot of architecture sets on display. So that is a new um, castle, I do believe. Then they've got all of the Jurassic Park bits linked together. And they have the Indiana Jones stuff. And I do believe there's going to be no new Indiana Jones sets coming for 2024. So maybe that'll all be retiring at the end of 2024. So it was just those couple of sets. It was a one and done. Maybe it was a swing and a miss from the actual film itself. Who knows? But I think a lot of people that wanted it got it. And then it might just be sat on the shelf for a little while. But I do like those sets. I think they do look very, very good. Again, it's a very good place to get Lego Technic sets from as well because they just have the space for all of the larger sets on display. So you can see the big Rivendell sets. You've got all the other bits and pieces on the left-hand side. You've got the Back to the Future. You've got all the cars, you've got the bikes, and then the Eiffel Tower there looks tiny, and we know it's absolutely massive. The Titanic box doesn't look very big, but that takes like four people to carry that thing because it's so large. And then again, you've got the castle, you've got the NES on the left hand, uh, the, I think that's the, the Atari, sorry, on the left hand side. Then you've got the haunted house, which is getting discontinued at the end of this year, so pick that up while you can. The Pac Man always looks fancy. Then you've got the A frame, and then the, the, what looks really small is that Transformers box now, even though that isn't. And this does look very, very smart. Again, and this is at a fantastic price point as well, I think. So it's a good site. It's a good scale display. That is potentially the next big set that I'm going to pick myself up. Really am tempted to get that. I almost got it or almost thought about getting it from the actual airport on the way back because you get 20% off. And that's one of the only sets that they did not have in. So I saved myself some money on that one. All the three and ones are grouped together. Now, this is where the tills were. So this is a nice little thing. You've got to pick a brick for the pumpkin. So you can just buy that if you want to and then you can build your own pumpkin in the store which is always a nice thing so they'd already done it for you and then I think what you could do is then just fill the rest of the cup up with other bits and pieces as well then you just pay for the cup rather than you having to hunt down the different bits and pieces so they had already organized it for you so you could build yourself a nice custom pumpkin you've got all the avatar sets and then you've obviously got places that you can build you've got all the speed champion cars on display which all again always look really really smart and then you've got all the marvel stuff now a lot of the stuff that we are looking at is in massive sales or it is going at the end of this year and this is done before the new Avengers Tower is going to be coming out. This was filmed in October. So all going well, the Avengers Tower is going to be coming out in November. You can see you've got a large amount of um, the Lego minifigures available, so you can pick them up. That's something that we always have a lot of. They've got a lot of key rings, and they've got a lot of opportunity to pick up your own minifigures if you wanted to. And they've got all of the Lego creator sets that aren't really in a lot of the Lego stores, um, just because they seem to be in more of the theme park areas. So it's always a, always a bit weird and wonderful to see the huge selection of stuff that they've got here because some of this stuff you forget that they actually sell as a company so they're only in their flagship stores those new years you no know, the new year sets but you can get them online continuously so anything that you're looking at at the moment and you didn't realize was about just pause it type in the SKU number on the lego website and you'll be able to get it delivered to your house if your own local Lego store does not have it. Now, again, I'm walking around where the tills used to be, so there's a massive amount of space now. And the thing to the left-hand side, that is what is coming soon 
in the next couple of weeks. So I'd be very, very intrigued to find out what that is. I reckon it might be something brick related. Um, it, it looks like that kind of sort of shape, because I think I've seen something like that at the actual Lego Land Park, and they do engrave basically your name into a Lego brick. So that could be it, or it might be something completely different. So don't build your hopes up too much, because like I said, I'm just guessing. I don't have any clue whatsoever. Good selection of Lego Classic stuff. And then again, Ninjago, massive, massive range of Ninjago. Now, I still can't remember if they had any Monkey Kid sets here because they didn't have them in Canada. It seems to be they're very, very easy to get hold of in the UK. Again, you can grab hold of them on the actual Lego website themselves as well. But they did have every single Ninjago set. And I can't remember. Oh, there they are. So, no, I'm lying to you. They do have them here. So it was just Canada that they didn't have them in because they do have them in the Lego land and they had a huge selection of them there. It's like a 50-50 split. They've got a small selection of Monkey Kid before you go into the Lego City and they had this built. So this is something else that's on my list. I am tempted to pick this up at some point before it retires. It retired, I would imagine, at the end of 24 into 25. So I have plenty of time to pick those up. I think the Mon Monkey Kid set are very underrated. I think the price point is fantastic. The colours used are brilliant. And it comes with a huge amount of minifigures as well. So if you are looking for a good value theme to get your teeth sunk into, I think that might be the one to go for. And then again, you've got obviously all of the really good LEGO City sets. You've got all the different vehicles. You've got the slushy. You've got all the Arctic stuff. You've got the garages, you've got the train stations, you've got the cars, you've got um, the, all the gaming trucks, you've got the ski slope. I mean, you can see it for yourself, just the volume of stock that they do have in this shop. And again, grab it, put it in your bag. You can obviously put it in your lockers as well. So you do have a locker at the Lego house. So again, if you are walking around the actual Lego house and you're coming out for lunch and you want to get some bits and pieces before the shop gets ransacked at the end of the day, that's your perfect opportunity to get it. Put it in the locker if you get a locker big enough to obviously fix the box. And then you can just take it back to your hotel room with you. And then you are good to go. They've got all the different advent calendars on display as well. So there's a good selection of those. So again, if you're struggling to get anything Christmas related, currently they have every single Christmas set available that is currently available all in one bit. But by probably mid-November, they will be very, very hard to get because everybody has the same idea at the same time. Everybody starts to buy every single advent calendar on display. And then obviously all of the other Lego sets start to disappear because everybody wants to build Lego, Christmas Lego, at Christmas so we'll see what happens there obviously the home alone house might be a very very good seller in the next sort of six weeks or so with the run-up to Christmas because they obviously have a bag a day that you can build so that's always a nice way of doing it so the 24 days before Christmas you can build one bag a day and it's on the nice run-up to Christmas I'm sure they must have done that on purpose because I am slowly starting to run out of time so if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic comments below if you've been here to the 2023 season let us know what you think let us know what you think of the store as well because I really do like coming in I think all the displays at the front of the shop do look absolutely fantastic and i think where the new till is i think that works really well because you've got all these massive models around it don't know how many tills there are though so i'm not too sure if there is more than one till because if there's just one member of staff they're going to be really really busy but i'm sure that isn't the case and they're just in the process of swapping it all around but keep us up to date if you are local and if you do go there regularly it's always nice to know the new bits and pieces and yes that is the new massive ucs star wars set which i think does look very, very impressive. I don't know if I prefer that one or the older destroyer, the old big block of cheese that I did have that I then sold because it was just massive. But I'm sure it looks fantastic in your own displays and some of you have already got it built up. I did speak to some of the members of staff in Canada and they said it was interesting to put together. So let us know your feedback below what that set is like to put together because I've always found some of the larger UCS sets an absolute nightmare to put together, but they do look fantastic on display. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care and I'll catch the next one. Ta-da.